Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on database roles use cases number two. In this use case demo, we are going to cover the Snowflake database role behavior with database cloning. If you have not seen my recent blog on database role, then I would recommend you to please go through them to understand where and how we can use the database role in Snowflake. Let's start with the demo. So I'm going into my web UI and if you are following my previous demo, you are aware that I have created two different databases, and each database has their own set of database roles. So I'm not going to repeat uh, this in this day demo. If you want to see what I have created uh, inside this database uh, databases, you can follow my previous uh, demo. So in this database, I'm going to clone the existing database, which is this two database and uh, then we will see how the cloning works with this database role whether the clone will take care of the database role or what will happen to the references of this existing role with the new role because we have also granted the existing database level role to environment level role so what is the behavior is the scope of this demo we wanted to see how it will behave whether it will behave as expected or not so without wasting any time, I'm just going to create a clone, uh, two new clone with the existing database. So it will quickly create the clone because we don't have any data. If I will refresh, you will see that two clone database has been created. Uh, so first of all, I would like to see like uh, show database role in the clone database, whether that database role has been cloned or not. So you can see that in the clone database, uh, the database role has been uh, cloned successfully and the similar database role was there on my source copy or the base copy. Similarly, if I go and see the uh, on the another database, you will see that we have another means like also there the database role has been copied like uh, for the first database. So till now we are okay. Now we will see the schema in database one clone database. So you can see that the data uh, schema has also been the copy and here we will also see in the database tools. So this is pretty much an existing feature. We don't have to validate. I just wanted to see that uh, all has been copied or not. Now, if you remember, we have an account level role where we have granted the database level role for the previous two databases. Now we wanted to see what happened when we clone this, whether we have to re-grant the new uh, database level role to this environment level role or it will take care. So let's see. So now if we execute, we will see that the cloning has taken care for the re-granting of the new database because existing was there already. And when we clone, the cloning has taken care for the re-granting of the new role created for the clone database to the role environment. So at the moment, if we go ahead and use the role environment, bit, we will see all the four databases instead of two databases. So no new uh, a grant statement needs to be executed. Clone has taken care of that, which is pretty much uh, was expected and it is performing as it is expected. And uh, there will be no change on the user level because we have the higher level account level role granted to the user. So that still exists. So that's uh, all for this demo. And if I go and uh, just wanted to use this role, so I will just uh, use role role environment admin and then we will see all the four database so here you can see that i have this role set up on the context and you can see all the four databases are visible so these two databases are the default database created uh, pre-created uh, whenever the account is provisioned so these are the four new database two are the original database which i created on previous demo these two are the clone database which i created in this demo and all are visible without any extra effort so that's all about this demo because we have uh, already covered all the things. So I'm just going to drop this uh, clone database. I don't need them anymore. I'm just going to drop this. All right, I need to switch the role because these databases are being owned by account admin. I'm just going to drop this. Once I drop this and if I go again and share, share like so grant to role, you will see that two role has been removed. Now we only have the two roles. So automatic granting and evoking of the database role is taken care by the cloning process. So that's all for this demo. And if you like my demo, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.